Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to cover three things. First, how to activate WeChat Pay in your Stripe account. Second, how to send an invoice to a parent for, their, for your services. And then third, how to make sure the parent is able to pay the invoice so you can get your money. That third part is where a lot of people had some issues. They were able to send the invoice, but then the parent was telling them that it didn't work. They weren't able to actually pay it. And some teachers also contacted Stripe Support and Stripe Support told them they needed to integrate WeChat Pay with a third party program like a website or a scheduling app. Well, that is not true. I guarantee you can receive WeChat payments by sending an invoice directly to the parents, and I will show you how. So of course, the first thing we need to do is log into our Stripe account. So I'm going to take a look at my dashboard, and this is just kind of an overview of what you've done this past week. So we are going to first change it into test mode because I am not going to send a real invoice. So make sure if you want to test it out on yourself that you put it into test mode first. Then when you're ready to send an actual payment, you just turn off the test mode. So to activate WeChat Pay, Stripe will not have it available when you first log into Stripe. You have to activate it first. So what I did was just went to the search bar and typed in WeChat. That is under the payment methods. So I clicked on that and you will first see what is live. These are the cards. So if you want to know what credit cards Stripe accepts, if the parent wants to pay with credit card, you can see that here. And then eligible are all the other options you can use for payment. So when you first get into Stripe, WeChat Pay will be down here where it says requires action. You will need to click on the button to the right that either says request invite or request access. Once you click on that, it will come up to the top section ready to integrate. When you first try to activate it, it will say pending for the status. It only took mine a couple minutes to go to active. Once it says active, you can start sending invoices with WeChat Pay. The section on the right where it says integrate WeChat Pay. This would be if you wanted to integrate it into your website or a scheduling app. But since we are not doing that method right now, we're not going to do anything with this section. Step two is sending the invoice. So again, I'm in test mode. I'm going to my payments. And this you can see are just all the test payments that I have sent. These are not any actual payments. I'm going to go, going to go over to my invoices on the left. And again, this is where you would see all the invoices you have sent. Since I am in my test mode, these are just the tests that I have done personally. So over to the right, you're going to see where you create your invoice. So I'm going to click on the blue button here. And the first thing you have to do is add or select your customer. Once you have added a new customer, their name will be saved under the recent here. So you don't have to type in their name and email every single time. If you don't know the parent's name, I know I don't know any of my student parent names. You can just give them the name that you call them, like Justin's mom, Winnie's mom, if you don't know their actual name. So I'm going to make up a name. I have a student named Candy, so I'm going to write Candy's mom and I'm going to add her as my customer. Email. If you know their email, you can enter it here and you can send the invoice directly to their email. If you don't have their email, there is another option that I just learned about today that you can send them a link to the invoice payment page. I like the idea of the email, that way it's saved in there and I just have to select their name and it sends it to them in one step. But if you don't want to get their email, that's too much to keep track of or ask, then you can just send them the link. Since I'm going to be showing you both ways, I'm going to put in my email here so it gets sent to me. And again, I recommend you send yourself a test invoice that way you know exactly what the parent is going to be doing that way if they have a question you can answer it for them and tell them what to do so once i've saved that customer their name is going to stay in there so i don't have to type it every single time 
Second is to add the items. This would be what they're paying for. Again, you can create a product that will save or you can create a one-time item. So if I was creating a one-time item, again, just like the regular items, I'm going to give it a name. So I'm gonna type English lessons and you can type in the quantity and the price. So let's say they're paying for five lessons at $20 each. So it tells them the total price they were paying and it is in US dollars. A lot of people asked about using US dollars versus the Chinese Yuan. I would always say, I don't even know if there's a way to change it to Yuan, it just automatically shows US dollars. But I think it's better to just send it in US dollars. That way you're always getting the same amount every time. If you send it in Yuan, it's going to depend on the currency conversion at that moment. So it will automatically tell them when the parent gets the invoice, it will show them what the amount is in their currency. So I have my $20, my total is 100, and I'm going to save that item. Memo is optional. What I do since I have, I will have my parents pay for the full month. I would put the either the month that they're paying for or each individual date that they're paying for. That way they can see these are the classes I'm paying for this month and there's no confusion of what they're actually paying for. So there's the memo and then the payment down here. Email invoice to customer with link to payment page. You can choose to change this if you're not using an email to send the invoice link. But I'm going to keep the email invoice with link so I can show you both ways that we can send it. So email invoice and I choose seven days, but you can choose however many days you want to give them. And then the three payment options that are automatically here are the ACH, credit transfer, credit card, or WeChat Pay. If you only want them to pay with WeChat Pay, you can simply remove the other two. If you want to give them an option of credit card, you can keep both options there. Now over here on the right, you'll see a preview. So this shows you exactly what it will look like when you send it to the parent. My screen shows this on the payment page. When I tried it on my smaller computer, I had to click a button up here to see the preview. So if you don't see this, look for a button on the top right to view the preview. So the first thing they will see is their email. It will look like this. There'll be a button for them to pay this invoice. The second thing they will have is a PDF. If they want to download the invoice, it's basically a receipt if they wanna save that. And then the payment page is what they see when they click pay this invoice, it will pop up this payment page. You will notice two options, the credit card and the WeChat. Notice the WeChat is blurry. There is a reason for that. I guess it's a safety measure from Stripe. They have to click this button down here. This is generate QR code for $100 to actually see the QR code. Also, I learned that the parents, even though ours is green, or sorry, ours is blue, and in English, the parents will actually see it in green and it will be written in Chinese for them, which is good to know. So I have everything ready. So now I'm ready to review the invoice up here at the right. And you have to confirm it. I always add my email here to include in the invoice that way I get it, I know that the parent also got it. I can see that it went through. Since I'm sending this to myself anyway, I'm just going to send the invoice. Okay, and here is basically your confirmation that the invoice was sent. And this is also where you can see the link for the payment page. So instead of having to open the payment page in their email, you can send them a direct link. So all you would have to do is right click, copy the link address, and then you can paste it into your WeChat conversation with the parent. They would open it up and this is what it will look like. They can open up directly in their WeChat and they will see the payment page. So they again have the option for the credit card. They could enter their information here or the option for WeChat. So here you can see the blurry code 
Once I click this button, now they can actually scan the code. So this is one option for sending the invoice. The other option, which we already did, was through email. So here's my email. Uh-oh, did it not go through? Hmm, let me check my other email. Oh, I sent it to my other email. So <laughs> I will show you on my phone. So here's my email. It says test because this was a test invoice. And here's the page that it showed with the pay this invoice. And then you can see the PDF. This is that receipt if they want to save with all the information on it. And then I'm going to click on pay this invoice. And here's the payment page, just like we saw over here. Oh, there it is. So it looks exactly the same as if you sent them the link directly through WeChat. Since I already activated it over here, the code is already visible. If it wasn't, they would have to click the green button to generate the code. So this is where you are done on your side. You have completed all the steps that you need to do. Now it's up to the parents, but it's important to give them some information first. If the parent opens the code on their phone and then they save the picture and then they try to scan it on their phone, the transaction will fail. It will not go through. When I sent it to my parent the first time, that's exactly what she did. And this message popped up and you can see where it shows how much it is in the Chinese Yuan. So it automatically shows them the conversion. So she got a notification and it basically says, this merchant does not currently support payment by long pressing the identification QR code. My guess is this is some type of security measure from Stripe. That way somebody's not just taking a snapshot picture of this QR code and then they send it to a bunch of people to pay. They want them to scan the original QR code that you sent them. So in order to do that, they I tell the parent to first open the invoice and QR code on a computer and then scan it with their phone. So it needs to be done on two separate devices. They cannot do it from their phone for both. Once the parent did that, it went through automatically, no problems. So once they have made the payment, then on your side, you will see if the payment was successful. I downloaded the Stripe app on my phone. You can't send invoices that I can see from the app, but you can track any of your payments. So at the bottom, the second one is for all the payments. And I will show you the first one that failed. I'll cover up her email so you can see it says the status was failed through WeChat Pay. Then the second time when she did it by opening the invoice and QR code on her computer, scanning it with her phone, you can see that it says status is succeeded, WeChat Pay, payment for invoice. So it does work, but you have to make sure you follow the steps because if they don't follow the steps and the parents don't open it correctly, it will not work. The other thing I wanted to mention was the fees. Once I had my first payment go through, I was able to see what the actual fees would be. I didn't know if there were going to be any um, currency conversion fees or anything like that. The fee came to exactly what Stripe said is the, the main percentage, which is 2.9% plus 30 cents, which is a great fee compared to PayPal. Also, keep in mind, the first payment that you receive will take longer. There's a delay. I'm Again, some type of security measure, making sure there's no type of fraud or scam going on. So they, make, they hold that first payment. For some reason, it took mine almost two weeks for my first payment to go through. But I also did it ahead of time. I did a test for just $1. That way, when it was time to make an actual payment, I didn't have to wait. So the second payment that I did only took two days. So it's super fast. 
once you get through that first payment. So I recommend testing it with a parent if they are willing to do that for just $1 and making sure everything goes through, getting rid of that wait time so the next payment will go through super fast. Hopefully that answers everyone's questions, any confusion that you had. If you have any other questions or you need my help setting anything else up, just let me know. Bye.